already there. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching. Welcome to another rendition of the Trifactor podcast. Um, just me and Andre tonight for now. So I didn't maybe joining us, but we'll keep it pumping. Um, you're, a little, you're a little hungover. You're a little hungover with a draw. You know, very excited with Team Manchester draw. So, where the, where the top team can be the third team. Hmm. Man, you should be ashamed of themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. All right. So, on the docket for tonight, we'll start with the top six. Andre, what are your thoughts on the top six? All right. So, let me look at the, um, let me look at the table there. So, Manchester United in first place. They have a game in hand. Oh, okay. sorry. No. City no, is second. City have, have a game, game in hand. hand. Yeah. Yeah, City have a game in hand. Leicester two. Two points behind. Yeah, Leicester third, Liverpool fourth, Tottenham fifth, Everton still six. I surprise Everton still there, man. I thought they the early season. And don't, don't hit on Carlo, man. Carlo does get right, right. Carlo's my Carlo's my goat, and I tell you that already. <laughs> that big fun that other day. Um, so, so Alex, in. then then Carlo. Anyway, go ahead. Nah, yeah. All right. So Manchester United. Um. So for me. You've been part of the many WhatsApp rants. Um, I think this is not shade on Manchester United, but um, I think right now they're benefiting from the problems that the other teams have right now. So Manchester City are not scoring goals. They are still dominating games and they still... Actually, they actually got more solid Manchester City. Um, but they're not scoring. So as a result... Right, the goal's not flowing, then again, wins. So they drop, like, Manchester City has five draws right now, which is a bit, which is a bit high for, for a Pep yeah. season so far. Um, Manchester United is but, still a... My two cents is just Manchester United is a counter-attacking team. Yeah. Um, they still never really, um, you know, what they were trying to get with Lukaku is a good centre forward and thing, thing. They don't really have that solved all the way yet. All their players like to play on the left. Cavani is the man. Um, but Ole seem to be trying to ease him in. They talk about his age like he's old, but Vardy older than him, you know? <laughs> anyway. Vardy's crazy, though. He's but, a different man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, Manchester United, for me, I mean, I think the signing of Bruno cannot be understated. And then the... <laughs> The signing of AWB. So offensively, yes, he's weak and all this stuff. But defensively, it just means that there's so much more solid. There's so much more cover for when Lindelof or Maguire inevitably do something wrong, make a mistake. Yeah. Have a fast man trying to cover up. And then Shaw, Luke Shaw has benefited. I will say that much. He's Luke playing Shaw better right now. Luke Shaw has benefited from no Jose. So he is, <laughs> he has shown he has shown himself some kind of progression. So I think the players and then and then I mean I expected this. I expected, you know, give Rashford a season or two more and you just start seeing what's showing into who he is, right? So I think right now we see in and no disrespect to Ole, but right now we see in um yeah. we see in the maturity of this team. Um, and then Bruno is Bruno is very 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 instrumental. Um, I am but impressed no, by no goals I'm against um, no goals against top six teams though. So yeah. I mean, yeah. does that mean it's anything a, to you? Does that mean anything to you? I mean, it just means there's only so much. Remember, if you remember, man, I don't know if you remember this. Remember when there used to be all kind of super classical derby. Super classical every every week almost. Yeah. Remember yeah. there was a stretch where it was just Cristiano Messi, Cristiano Messi, right? Yeah, yeah. And in the beginning, people were talking about Cristiano do score against Barca. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's yeah, just yeah. I think it's just right now, as far as the teams go, right, Manchester United, they still have to get better. Once they get a little better, then right, they could start asserting some more dominance in these big games too, and not just against mm-hmm. the small teams. Anyway. So Manchester United on top. I think they're not going to stay on top. I think at the end of the season it will be City. I think Pool will come second. I think United could come to it. Um, so, so what? You, what do you think about um, Liverpool though not getting results 
recently. What I think, think it was an eventuality, that? though. It was okay. an eventuality. These, these men playing top top of their game for how much years? Since even even before they won, the, yeah, the year with um, they won top. They lost to Real Madrid in the final. Yeah. Right. The year with Real Madrid in the final and Carrius. <laughs> Carrius disaster class. Um yeah. that year. Liverpool was already bombing, so it's years, years, years of them just being top quality. I think they start friendly the most from Trent falling off a cliff. Like this is the worst I've seen him play in a stretch ever. Um, since he started, I talk about since I see him de- debut, it's the longest yeah. stretch of him playing bad I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And there's also a part of it, Salah not looking as greedy as usual. He usually like to shoot, try the shot. He actually being, you know, he being kind of timid. He, he playing like Pepe. <laughs> right, you pull him he back looks, out and hit the square pass and all he, this stuff. Like, yeah, he doesn't uh, look as um lethal. Yeah. I think it's an eventuality, but I mean, I, I hope so. He on, he's on my FPL team and pressure. But anyway, go ahead. as soon as you, as soon as you buy the man, everything was good. Enough. As soon as I bought it, but um, I think uh, but well, they still have plenty quality. So I think eventually they have too much quality for the rest of the Premier League in general. I think so they will still get results. When Diego Jota come back and even a man like Origi will come on and score a goal or something. They, they will still get some points along the way. Um, Leicester, man, Brendan Rodgers deserves some credit. He doesn't get enough sure. credit for the work he has been doing. So. Because, because he hasn't won anything. I, I think that's the major reason why. I, in this era where social media, everybody's about, you ain't win nothing, dog. What you do? Just like Poch, what you really do, I mean, we could see the difference that he, he brought Leicester even back up from when um, Ranieri left. Yeah. He brought them back up to a nice level. It's still, what have you won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Leicester's a good team. I, t- I, I don't know if they can hold on to the top four, though. I actually hmm. think, um, I think your boy Jose going to get. I think, Jose, <laughs> I think Jose will get top four. And then it might be Leicester, and then it might be um, Chelsea outside of it. Okay. Um, I don't think Everton have enough to stay in top six. Okay. I don't think but so. That... I think the team is very reliant on um, Rodriguez and what's his name up front? DCL. Oh, Carbert Lewis. Yeah. Carbert yeah. Lewis. And I mean, this is DCL first season scoring real goals. I mean, yeah. typically, I mean, experience tells you it will dry up. Yeah. They're already showing signs of drying up. If if his goals dry up, I don't know if Charles is going to score them goals. Um, and then Hamez has always had issues with being fit for a whole season. Yeah, that's That has been his issue. So he always gets good numbers, though. He does goals and assists, lots, every way. But does he stay fit for the whole? I don't know. So you take him out. You have Alex Iwobi. You have Bernard. Iwobi new. And you have an agent, uh, and you have an agent, Sir Goodson. So, yeah. are they going to really be able to? I don't think so. Um, I don't think your Arsenal coming close. I think Arsenal coming eight. <laughs> as a hard luck scene. Hey, that's a good um, position to be in from where we were. Where, where were you? <laughs> like 15th or 16th. You, you, see, you, see with, um, you see the meme with, uh, you know how they say the, and I took that personally? Yeah. You see the meme where they say Sam Allardyce said in Arsenal in the relegation <laughs> battle. I need that meme. Send, they need to send me that meme. I take that personally. Yeah, yeah. Send me that meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, um, my, 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 yeah, my views on the... Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. My um, views on the, on the top six mm. or the top half of the table. Man, you... Uh, um, so we've been through this. You say it's not all your fighting, but I, I think all of these is uh, more credit. Um, I, I think the reason, I think the reason why I give him credit is because he gets results when he, when his job on the line, all he turns into Sir Alex Ferguson gets up. Big results. The results, right? Not the style of play or the okay. tactics. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't agree you get results? All right. Uh, anyway, um, but I, nah, think, just, um, I, don't, re- I don't understand how I don't understand what what does he do to get the results if it's not tactics? What does he do? Well well 
what, why, why I say he gets it is because his job is on the line. So whatever happens right. is on him. Right. 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 <laughs> but I think the reason why um, Cavani doesn't get as much playing time as um, we think he should is because, as you said, Man United is a counter-attacking team. The man wants speed up top. To me, if Martial or Rashford stayed on the half, played on the half, and then run down the ball to be on offside. I mean, to not be offside, I think they would have gotten a result. Um, Alisson had a big save from Pogba late. Um, Liverpool um, were not lucky, but they had. I don't think they they deserve to win more than Man United. So maybe a draw was um, fair. Um, Pogba didn't play bad. Bruno. No goal against the top six, um, which a lot of people is ready to knock him for every time. But I'm but men saying, men saying he looks tired and saying he, he ain't getting no rest and thing. No, it have no rest. No, run whole day. Bruno, <laughs> you have to be <laughs> that drag you off the field according to our old time coach. <laughs> you had a dead <laughs> on the field, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I will say, City, so, yeah, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, um, with. With Bruno and thing though, like, yeah, he he is he is he is the he is the highest quality player Manchester United have. Yeah. So like watching him play, I mean, all players have off games now, so or off touches or you know whatever. So you could just see that he is the one that if if it clicks for him, the, the different quality of chances they're gonna have is just yeah. So yeah, hard yeah. luck, hard luck. He wasn't on the full hundred in that game. All right. So um. One more point. Um, I was telling my brother how, um, well, Trent still on his um, his quote unquote schoolboy contract or his academy mm-hmm. contract. Yeah, I was telling him last season, boy, Trent better re up before his form dip. You know, I was telling him that Trent better re up before his form dip. I know that. Value will dip. Yeah, I, I, I think I don't think. Cause think about it. Have you heard of Trent Green up Robertson? Remember the buy Robertson for cheap? He was a gamble. Robertson's still on like a, a, a small contract. Are you sure, boy? I find that hard to yeah. be. Liverpool would now, Liverpool would now boost up his contract to, you know, to Not protect yet. his team. Not yet. Remember? Woo. Because his, um, his other contract wasn't done yet. So, right. I think he's that's, still that's, on that's, that baby that's contract. Somewhere. So, we, I'll check it out and verify, right? So, yeah. so Man City now. Man City, you know how I feel about Pep getting that Sani and well, Kuhn was injured, but he also was cheating Kuhn like a, a scrub kind. I find he don't give Kuhn enough respect. I find so. Um, Kuhn should, but Kuhn I think, think they had a over little beef. They had a little beef. I thought at a point in time where he was trying to play Jesus and yeah. act like Jesus is the man, but nah, he, he ended up realizing his, his what Pep started saying in the press showed that yeah. he was he was now trying to sweet talk uh, Kuhn again. So, you know. <laughs> But um, they're getting results. Um, their defense too. I mean, solid. D- Diaz and Jones, your oh, boy from FPL. Oh gosh. Anyway, yeah, we go talk about that. We go talk about that. <laughs> it's still it. It's, I just haven't mentioned it. We go talk. We go talk. We go talk. Ten go games. Talk. Um, ten games to play. I think it's nine clean sheets, one goal conceded. It's like crazy stats. It's like us. Jones. I mean, Stones. Stones would have been on my flop before this round, though. What? Stones was good, bought for fifty million pounds, and didn't play for the last two seasons. Though I wouldn't call him a flop. flop, though. But all right, all right, all right. Yeah, he could. He would have made my list anyway. Um, it's crazy. It's yeah, crazy I, that Laporte is on the bench, though. Yeah, that's real crazy. I, I and and Ake, like, they have two more than five, above average. Five on Ake, right? Hey. But before this season, I was gonna say like if I was gonna pick EPL best centre backs, it's Van Dijk yeah, and Laporte. He was, he was, he was, he it's was. Van Dijk and Laporte. So yeah. the fact that Diaz could come in and Stones take <laughs> Laporte spot, boy. But we were talking about was, toxicity in the in the group, and yeah. our coach, these coaches we we're talking about, is not just Jose alone. A lot of coaches, quote unquote, banishment, and we don't know the behind the scenes, but you just right. see men cemented on the bench or just away from the team. And la watch la port now. I mean, anyway. I, know, I know what happened there, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, and then you think about, yeah, you think about, look how good that team could be. Like that parent, there's no way, no disrespect to Stones, but you can't yeah. tell me 
Diaz <laughs> and Laporte wouldn't be like dream team. Like, <laughs> well, anyway. Stones playing first pick right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, Leicester, boy, Leicester play um, vertical football, expansive men. Um, take, um, take one man. I mean, bands. I mean, anyway, yeah, Tillemans, boy, Tillemans is good. Is good. I ain't gonna call his name in because you know. I'm a boy, Madison. Anyway, Madison. I mean, he and Grealish could make England look real good. Anyway, let me keep moving it along so you could change the topic. You know, so there's the time, man. Liverpool. Um, so they, I think City have the in the driver's seat right now. Um, the way they're playing, they're not conceding much. So all they need is one goal and um, seal it up. Tottenham. Um, Tottenham. Hmm. Tottenham is winning, but they can't move past fifth right now. Even though it's close, they're one point behind Liverpool. Um, I think Josie is our results man, and he would um, he's practical and he'll get I think, his um, team. In but, I, but I will say so, like it's shaky for me. So I, th- I said I yeah. think he could pick fourth, but the yeah. problem is, you know, I don't know how much of this to say is. Remember, I, I tell you, I think I think he lost something after yeah. Madrid, right? I think he lost something. He is, he is not able to get men to buy in to him as much as before. Right. So that what I saw post-Madrid is a bunch of these performances from men that you're like, though he ain't improved yet. Like, he's still making these mistakes. So I watch Eric Dial. And Eric Dial, Eric Dial is a man, for me... Don't get me started on Eric Dial. Anytime he could do a David Luiz out of nowhere, right? It's like it, it's just Eric Dyer. I have no right to be starting there. Anyway, sorry. I'm gonna do oh, 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 oh. Davidson Sanchez. It don't matter who Dyer is not starting my center back dog. But anyway. but that's but that's the kind of thing I'm saying. So like yeah, right now there is issue is similar to what was happening with him at Man U. To be honest, was yeah. the team drawing too much games. So. You're not winning games, you're drawing games because you're conceding a ship with goal out of nowhere. It's just like, oh, well. anyway, so they, they could gamble. Just die. Just die. All right. All right. But I'll side note, quick, yeah. quick, quick praise for um, Regulon. Real impressing me. Yeah. Every time good. I see Regulon play, remember I can't since believe, Solari gave him the start. He let that go. No, remember, since Solari gave him the start, right? He dropped Marcelo, but Zidane loved his player. So he brought back Marcelo one time. Regalan was like, I'm out. He went to Villa and he's in. That, uh, that, that boy game right now. That, yeah, that boy good. look like he looked like Robinson when he playing. Robinson when he playing. No, nah, he's good. He's good. Um Everton, Carlo, well, yeah, he needs well, I think I think they say he's gonna buy the guy from um, Bayern. Uh forget his name, Ooh. but to me, he's our next Moise, Moise uh, Afro man from Bayern, uh, a sector. Uh, one of them youngsters that have. Um, oh, forward? Yeah, forward. He has a Z name or something. I can't remember his name. But, um, okay, no, no. but he'll be just like our next Moise Keen for me. Um, they need our next striker. They need backup. Um, Chelsea. We get to Chelsea in a while. To me, <laughs> where did the topic be going on in a couple of minutes? Um, where Sam is so solid, Southampton play so Southampton play so good, so much good football, eh? expansive. Yeah. The the epitome of of vertical horse. They get that ball for us so quick, talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Now, this, this, I mean, they are a very good team to watch. I I, I understand. Yeah, I really real it. nice. That game against um Leicester was really good, and they won lucky. It's Michael made some nice save. Um, Arsenal, a good run so far. I think it's four, four in the last four or five. Anyway, good run out of relegation battle. You, so I will tell you about your Arsenal. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, we could talk about this in FPL too, but don't, don't, don't read too much into it. The reason why I bought holding is because all they had a fixture yeah, run. run. Yeah. They have a good fixture run, so... You can, only play in front of, you can only play out in front of you. I, I'm really. not getting carried away. I'm not getting carried away. fixtures turn. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm enjoying the wins anyway. Right. Um, right, so coaching and and Wayne Rooney retiring and um, becoming the coach of Derby County. Your thoughts? So, uh, you know, I've make I mixed feelings. So, on the is it one really hand, mixed? Is it? Yeah, no, I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings. 
Right, so it's like three, three sets of feelings. So the first one is, right, he finally called retirement on his career. You think back about his career. Um, he reminds me of Robinho. Him out, him out before. I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> he reminds me of Robinho where people are very quick to say that he never live up to. And then they are. People are saying Rooney is being overrated and all kind of thing. Nah! Who people... Hey, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I'll rebut you. Right. I mean, you don't follow the same man I just follow on to Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so, but, you know, people... Uh, basically, people put them up on this pedestal where they're supposed to smash all records and be the next generational thing that transform. And it's like, okay, but stop for a second. The man ended Manchester United as their record goal scorer, I, I think, right? When he ended it? I don't know. I, don't. I think he had he had a number of records when he done yeah. with Manchester United and all this stuff that is like no, have some perspective. The man is a legend. Of the course. man did the man did live up to a lot of what was said was going to happen. He did it, and so it's, it's good to see. You know, he finished his career. Um, it didn't end up in no kind of you know. It didn't take a tragic turn like Maradona or drugs or something. It didn't. It yeah. didn't go no other way. Just you know. Smooth, clean, done. Um, yeah. All right. Second set of thoughts is about I like seeing coaches do this. Um, so there's like an English tradition kind of thing of being a player coach before right. you retire and then becoming a coach. I like the idea of these player coaches, even though you're a legend as a player, hey, you start off in championship or even uh, league one. And then you're okay. You, you practice your craft. I'm assuming you have mm -hmm. your badges. Is the part I don't know if men actually have their badges before they start. I don't know if he has it, so. Right? I assume you have your badges and you, and you start with your lower team and thing or whatever, whatever. All right. So there's a part of it that is I'm happy that unlike Ole and unlike whoever else we could name, their first bite in English football is not Premier League. Okay. So he gets to figure out his stuff. Hopefully, unlike Frank, they don't rush it into oh yeah one season yeah you good you ready to you ready to coach Chelsea. Anyway, so hopefully, hopefully it goes where he gets to practice and we'll see how it transits. You never know going from player to coach, right? A lot of great players are bad coaches. A lot of average players are very good coaches, etc. So we could see if he could be Ancelotti, you know. Um, but then. The feeling that is the undercurrent in all of this is all right, it's about race. It's about of I watch Rooney getting the shot. And I just like look, I don't care who. I don't even have the time to sit down and think about like imagine if you look up the imagine if you look up the proportion. What's the percentage of players that are black? Hmm. Right? When you look at every team, what's the percentage of players that are black? The idea, and I'm and I'm saying black. I'm just saying non-white. Anybody? Yeah. What is the percentage of those players that are not white? How is it really possible that the percentages that end up getting into management in this same sort of way, right? Oh, you start in Derby, or you start in Sheffield Wednesday, or you start in Brad Bradford, whatever. Okay. How is that not happening? So there's a part of me that's sour watching it because well oh gosh as trainees we, we hear what you're complaining about yeah we uh, you as an Arsenal man you hear what Saul Campbell complaining about I yeah. watch an interview with Sadoff talking about you know dog he had the highest win percentage of a manager at AC Milan but he still get fired after how much months hmm. and all this stuff right and it's just there's a part of me that's sour at happy for you but at the same time eh why not uh I don't think about who who it could be. Who was in the team at the same time as Rooney? I don't know. But why not? Um well the Rio. <laughs> I don't know. That's I don't the think closest Rio wanted one. to get into coaching. Yeah, but that's it that's the closest one. I don't know. Yeah. Who else is But yeah, so I have mixed feelings on it. Um but at least I, at least I'm happy that I'll say at least I'm happy that it's not that he say I ready to coach and immediately yeah. West Brom give him the job or something. You know? Yeah. Well, my, um, I have two thoughts on this, right? 
those guys who say Rooney is not a legend. <laughs> a, a, a satanic, all right? They said he I didn't remember. live up. He didn't live up. I remember. Must be, all right. So, remember he saw with a, the white pelle, yeah? I'm an Arsenal fan, though. My first memory of Wayne Rooney is he busting in it with Everton. Oh, yeah, 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 One yeah, yeah, bullet, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, That's my yeah. first. I'm like, horse, who is this 16-year-old dog who look like a yeah, big, hardback man? Right? That Champions League, that Champions League debut with the hat trick. I, know, I can't remember yeah. the debut, but I remember Rooney. We used to play a game with my cousins, right? We used to call Rooney and Van Nistelrooy, Shrek and Donkey Dog. I want to get Shrek yeah, and he's Donkey. Is real pace. Like, oh, nah, he's a cheat, he's a cheat, because he's he fast, then, he could shoot, yeah, strong. Everything. And in real, they were doing the same thing. Yeah. Tevez, Cristiano, and Rooney, dog, they were destroying the league. Yeah, 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 for sure. Come for on, sure, dog. Sure. And how many iterations of Rooney did he... They tell her time I knew Rooney was curling the referee and a ball just come on a rebound and just one bullet up in the dog. Yeah, Rooney yeah, was yeah. a beast horse. Come on, guys. What do they matter? And now second... And before I go... You remember that um, DC United goal where he run, run down the man? Skid down the man. Pelt her blade. Win back the ball and hit a half-field assist. That man, they headed to him to win it. Dog, come, come on. Any he... man... It was not foul, though. It was not foul. It was not foul. The ref didn't blow it. I tell you that, but dog. Well, I think I think I respect nah, nah, Rainer. I mean, I mean I the one Rainer. that was a the one that was a foul was his. Remember, he scored a goal similar to Beckham with from the half line. I think it was for when he went back Everton the second time or something. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, 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 yeah. He bodied the man when he in the air now, so it was a bit <laughs> of a foul. But Although my cool. my gross against Wayne Rooney, he he dove when um so when he penalty to break our um forty nine on beat anyway um. Yeah, so now that um, he's getting the coaching job, I mean, like I said, it looks it because what's the percentage, bro? You see about Darren Moore, right? Dog, I will send you. I will send you a freaking is a tableau. You know what tableau is? No, nah, I don't know about it. Right, but I'll send it to you. There's a link where somebody put it together. It's dated. Uh, the most recent is the July 2020. Right. And it break down and show you all these teams, dog. Anyway, oh, the most, the most uh, revealing thing here was Wolves. Wolves have had the most black managers over time. I don't know Wolves much about much about Wolves before me. No, and I'm saying the most, and that just means they had two. They had two managers that were black. Who's the time. other one? Who's the other one? You know, Why a you? man named Terry Connell. Okay. Right, but I'll stand this there. You'll see, it's, it's, it's embarrassing anyway. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, Darren Moore, highly educated man in terms of football. The man studies, wrote some courses that you actually have to write to, to become a manager in England. Was in fought with man. West, was fought with in West, with, with West Brom, right? They so that means they would, would have been in the playoff, which I think they were still in. The, I don't know if they end up going, I can't remember what position they finished, but they were fought. You sack the man in photos when he had a chance to go up. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in football in history, horse. Yeah. Like maybe maybe I'll be in a type of battle, but I don't I don't know if it was I don't know if they fire him so late. So I think he I think it's still at Oh, some it was in the middle of the season. Right, but I think I think I'm just saying it's not as if it was literally the playoffs is two weeks from now and no, say, but yeah, still I'll give it to somebody else. But a yeah. photos. No, nah, nah, I know, I know. Cause, <laughs> and then you starting from winning the championship, you could start that story from in the Premier League. They were looking like real garbage before he get hired as caretaker, and then all of a sudden yeah, the team looked like way better. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you go yeah, he's a, way better. Every time I think about him, my chest is burning for sure. <laughs> and I, did, and I didn't even know about all the things he just teach people. Yeah, I know, just he, as a coach, he, I was vexed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, boy, I mean, we see, we see this party and we say, come on, something not right there. Is it um I don't know. I mean Dwight no. Yop, you feel it for Dwight. Um you feel it for Dwight because the man literally all he's doing is not crying also. Yeah. So you feel it for our compatriot. Um and hopefully you get something soon. Um what else can I say about that? It's just wrong. I mean the only one who got one a chance was well they say Vera was more natural, but or he got a high profile one, didn't do too well. He's in the MLS right now. Oh, um, 
Monaco, yeah. He went straight to no. Well, he he didn't even go straight to Monaco because he was assistant in Belgium, so he he even had some experience under Martinez in Belgium. No. So no, no doubt there's been some players that got shots, right? So I just talk about Seedorf too. Like yeah, they yeah. there have been black players that got a shot, but there's way more black players that like for uh, is, I mean it's, it's normal in sports you see this a lot. Like, because sports yeah. is a great equalizer and thing, whatever. So, the the usual population breakdown in in the general populace versus in sport. No, in sport, it typically you know the pyramid flip is. Yeah, it becomes yeah, it's more black people or. But well, in terms of players, half. so it's, it's kind of crazy that out of all these players that has had, madness. All right. Anyway, so um, so next. You want to talk about Ozil as a separate talk, topic or just into that transfer? I want, well, you, you let your chest burn out. Like, let's go, let's okay. run. All right, all right. Yeah, let's run. Let me hear Ozil. So now I must preface my thoughts on Mesut Ozil, right? Let me preface it by saying, as a human being, second to none. How about Rashford? Well, I mean, Rashford. He's, he's Rashford good. Is well, Rashford, well. Right, Rashford is great as well, but if you dig into what Ozil does for people, does the man, the man is, is a the man is a, a great charitable guy, right? Playing for lots of surgeries, um, he gave up basically playing because of I think because of comments he made about his fellow Muslims in being mistreated in China. I think that's why yeah. he was vanished. Um, which is very unethical on Arsenal part. What is about the money, right? The China said they were going to scrub him from the internet and stop stream Arsenal case, dog. I think the day he was sold, they had some Chinese advertisement for Chinese New Year, dog. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, bro. Nah, nah, nah. nah so nah, nah. It, it, it's, it's definitely about the money, right? So, but now on the field is where, right, I could pick up part his performances, right? Us. For the amount of money reportedly because they say those figures are, are not necessarily true. 350,000 pounds a week, though. Right? That's a salary? You more, that was a salary? You getting more than KDB, though? That really? was a salary since he starts? No, not since he starts. Since he re oh, I think, was in, in 16, um, 17 or after 15, 16 season, right? So let me go through because I wrote it down. I took notes, right? 15, 16 I, I hear, when he I hear, came. I hear last time. I hear last time when I say I take notes for the best player in the video you was going. So let me hear this. Let me hear this. Right. So his first season, four goals, five assists. Though, no. Which is nothing to wait. Let me go through Don't it. Don't be one of these through, numbers now. Let me go through it now, please. All right. All right. All right. All right. And I'm just saying, I need something to go by because I can't remember all of his performances. What I remember about him, I'll say, he did not show up for, I would say this, 19 Premier League games for Arsenal, dog, in total. He what? did not show up for 19 Premier League games, dog, in total. I can't remember Ozil taking over 19 Premier League games. <laughs> Four goals, five assists. And this is his unicorn season, 15-16. I think Sanchez came. I could be wrong. Six goals, 19 assists, though, which was crazy. Right? 19 assists. That, that's epic. Con yeah, well done, Mesu. Right? But the next season, eight goals, nine assists, which is not bad. Next season, 17-18, four goals, eight assists. 18-19, five goals, two assists. And, well, this one where I think he fell out with Emery. One goal, two assists. His, what was his, uh, his appearances was dropping down that time too? He was yeah. Getting bench. He was getting plenty bench, right? His, from who? Which coach? His, Emery. He started getting some bench with Emery. So, because he was wearing a second son after Ramsey. But anyway, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. his average goals and assists though, right? 4.6 goals. And 7.5 assists in six seasons. If you take away that unicorn assist, 19 assists, though, 
he averaged five point two assists in five seasons though. Yeah, and was enough. the highest highest paid midfielder. Horse, for me, if you are a guy that commands that salary dog, you have to be bringing it every game horse. You have to at least be bringing it the majority of games where your team say, yeah, if we if we under pressure, we could look to Mesut to back. Uh, my cousin always says, <laughs> if you're a whipping man, like, <laughs> when you're whipping men, Mesut will be the first man with the whip. He's part of the whipping boys. Yeah, guys, there you go. <laughs> but when you're under pressure <laughs> and you're looking for Mesut, you can't find him at all. <laughs> <laughs> And that was my main issue with Mezu Dog. He, he, he commanded a big player salary, but not a big player in terms of toting the load of a team. And we could say that, mm-hmm. and that's why I believe that big players do. They tote the load of a team. You need something, they create it. It's, and, and that's how I judge my big players, though, right? I mean, so just um, to be clear here, so, are you, so, yeah. so Ozil is a flop? I wouldn't say he's a flop because... Um, he was what is a flop? What is you want to go straight into it? Well, I mean, well, no, we could we could float here, float here a little bit. But what's a flop? Well, for me, um, in modern times, a flop is if you are not if you don't hit the ground running in your first um season. To me, mm-hmm. that's what's seen as a flop. Um, in terms of in your here, first season, in terms of hearing what people say. No, I say, and I'm still saying this about Pepe, and he has half a season to come good. I am giving you two seasons, right? That's why I wouldn't call Buna and Harvard's flop as yet. They have yeah. one more season with me. Pepe, join close. Join close, Pepe. You have half a season to go. And then I'll label you a flop. But to me, the general, to me, the consensus, where people call people flops, mm-hmm. well, the, what well, I hear or read, is when you are not productive in your first season or people or or or, or it doesn't seem like you are productive because people give what a lot mean, of players right, more leeway to, than another leeway than some other but player. is it relative to how much they pay for you or how much you earn or something like that, 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 that's that's definitely facts though yeah how much you pay for you because pepe will it definitely has a spotlight on him from that price tag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think um well so back <laughs> to your ozil yeah. Back to your Ozil. I don't think Ozil is a flop. No, I don't because, think he's a flop either. So don't get me wrong. I didn't watch Arsenal week in, week out. <laughs> but, I mean, I remember the man first two seasons. Yeah. In my opinion, at that point in time, Arsenal was trying to play him as being central to the plans. Because when I love him. I feel as if he has been a victim of... Right. But I feel he has been a victim of, okay, the transition away from Wenger. Men trying to figure out, well, who do we build this team around? What the thing, thing, thing? But not only that, the amount of money they gave him. The amount of money they gave him. Yeah. But the the, the decision (laughs) seemed to be, we're not really building a team around you. He he doesn't deserve it, though. In in my opinion, the profile of player that he is, he is is not Kevin. So Kevin De Bruyne is a very, is not like, yes, his numbers show you he has assists. But Kevin, no, but you could, when you similar. watch him, when you watch him, though, he, he takes over the game. Right. But similar to Bruno, they have a profile that is, they don't really need players to hit one twos off of and all this. Kind. Like, they could literally, they will take on a man, make space in some way, clever way. They're not Ronaldinho, they're not Ronald Whippa, yeah. but they'll do a run into it and they'll drop their shoulder here, quick thing, whatever. Ozil is not that player. He never has been that player, in my opinion. Exactly. The Ozil I watching since, what was his team? What was the green team? Wolfsburg or Widerbremen? I think he's from I Wider. I think he's from right? Wider. But also since then, when he got bought for Real, what he's best at is when he have men to hit you little one-twos with and then a best ball. He's a luxury player like Pogba. Nah. I mean, yes. I, I, could, I could agree. I could agree. I could agree. The man has, he does have a special talent for picking a certain pass and all this stuff, but he yeah. can't do it on his own. He's not that kind of player. And that's why he doesn't deserve that salary. Agreed. 
but I think, but I think, but I think, if you don't, if you buy Ozil, yeah, it's an investment. And in, okay, now I need to build a squad that's gonna be able to make the, the most out of him, and and it didn't do that. Yes. Well, they were trying to, um, but we'll get to flops and we'll talk more about that. If we could go straight into the flops, um, you were saying top five, but I I got ten. That's all. The last so, five so, years. So, so for me, a flop. Yeah, a flop. De- a flop definitely has to do with a couple price of things. Tag. So, so yes, there's the price tag. So, if your marketing value is this thing, thing, then the ex- it's it's reasonable that the expectation is that you are going to be transformed. Like you're going to transform this team, bring them up a level. So there's the cost, but then for me, more importantly, is what was your what were your like. I hate to say it, but what were your numbers before? Before, okay. So if you were a high output player before and you stopped being high output after, that means you're flop. I don't really care about first season because, right, I've seen, I mean, we've seen players who first season not that great, second season numbers. Yeah. So I think who sticks out in the mind when I said that? As I was saying, I was thinking about Firmino. Right, Firmino, when he came to Liverpool, first season was kind of like, what does this manager really do? So, Second season, you start saying, okay, it's not just flicks and tricks, the man. All right, whatever. Anyway, um, so, so for me, a flop is, is both. You gotta, it's got to be, there has to be some kind of money that says the, this man was supposed to be yeah. a big deal. And then before, you have to be kind of good too now. Because I don't want to penalize a man for a team paying big money because they're shepherd. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not, it's not your fault a team value you high even though your numbers mm. was garbage. You're talking about Pepe now? What are you talking about? Eh? Eh? Uh, nah. An example okay. of a man I think... A man I thought about there was Ma- Martial. Manchester United took a huge risk when they bought Martial. Because the man was... He didn't really play before. Like, he wasn't playing a lot before for Monaco. He wasn't? You know why I say no. he wasn't? Because here's... And here's my rule of thumb, right? And I, and, I, and I learned it from Alex Ferguson when they played against Sporting and Cristiano was turning up men and they was like, buy that guy. Because Monaco knocked us out of the Champions League, I think 2014. That probably last time we were there. And Martial and Carrasco run, run us up though. And Wenger didn't buy either of them. <laughs> I'm sure he says, I was going to buy them. I was going and... Uh... Yes, I was interested. I mean, no Carrasco was really good at that time. Anyway. That fool, that fool went to China. I don't even want to talk about that kind of thing. Just get me like <laughs> I still have actually pa- pastor. It was supposed to be whatever, man. <laughs> but anyway, your top your top five flops or top ten flops last five seasons. Um, ah, right, so you go tell me. You say what? How much seasons? It was five. I think you were saying. I, I, I might. Uh, I might be beyond the five. Well, so my number one flop, not? the biggest flop, make the, rules. the biggest flop in the Premier League, in my mind, ever, ever, was Alexis Sanchez to Manchester United. Okay. For me, for me, Alexis Sanchez went from being, the dude was either <laughs> the best player or the second best player in the league. Fire. Either the best player or the second best player in the league. Fire. To absolute garbage. <laughs> and... and in less than five months, which I don't care what you say about what well, you playing with Lukaku or Pogba, uh, the team changed too. But dog, you are Alexis Sanchez. You've played in Barcelona. Four hundred and thirty thousand pounds a week reported. I ain't gonna talk about your salary. <laughs> your pedigree is you played in Barcelona with Pedro and Messi and. High caliber players. You've played in Chile as the talisman in Copa America and against Chile the Chile was Rockets running though. Tacklers. Chile uh, was running though. Chile had a even good in side. even in Uranesi, you start your career playing with Di Natale and like no. hurrying hurrying five men across the back of the. <laughs> no. you cannot come to Manchester United and now tell me you are on the same level as Daniel James like that. That True. was garbage. So he's the biggest flop I ever see. Yeah. My number two in the last five years or last ten years is, is Mr. Kepa Ariza Balaga Ooh. or whatever his name is. The man called down Big Fee as if he is Allison. 
The Ooh. boy can't make simple saves. Ooh. And then the boy had the nerve. And of course, I picked this because I just stand with my boy, sorry. Sorry, yeah. My boy had the nerve <laughs> to say, hey, 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 I, I ain't coming off. I ain't coming off. So, Kepler's number two. All right, our next Chelsea man is number three. People even forget the man exists. Danny Drinkwater. I didn't forget he's on my list. This man, <laughs> I did my research. <laughs> this man went from, you know, he get caught up in England, all kind of thing, on the back of Leicester performances. Of course. He and Kante were bomb. And the man can't even make the team. And he's followed the face of the earth. Now, granted, the, the only part when I call, so I've, I've, I think I wrote blog in the past about flop is a dangerous word and thing. You don't know what somebody going through and, uh, you know. So it's, it seems to me his own might be mental health related or something because yes. the, the thing, well, just in terms of, not that I've read his mental health, but I'm, I've read that it's like he can't even make the under 23 team on some other, like, so it's not, he never Chelsea no more, right? I think, I don't even know what club he was now. I think he's with Burnley. But it's like on the under twenty three team with Burnley, he getting red card and he, he had no discipline and he can't make the team. He's not good enough. All kind of thing. It's just like this, this confidence, boy. Sense. Confidence. All right. I wanted to put uh, next. I wanted to put Fernando Torres, but I think that's beyond the limit of the five yeah. years. Yeah. Next, I had Andy Carroll, but that's also beyond the five years. But they had Shevchenko then. <laughs> Shevchenko as well then. Just. <laughs> And Andy Carroll to, to Liverpool. Yeah, I put Sebastian sure. Halle as next. Because I see Halle as, in my opinion, he had no excuse. Um, Football-wise, football, football wise, now again, we could talk or feel how much support was he offered to settle into West Ham, blah, you know. But if you could have, no disrespect to my FPL king, but if you could have Mikel Antonio taking a spot <laughs> from you, Antonio has gotten, but he, he runs the whole day and he's, he, he scores goals. He runs the whole day. you can have Antonio Andrei. taking your spot from you, or say, imagine I mean, a man like Antonio taking your spot. The man does run whole day and score goals. A man I mean, that is over touch, over push, <laughs> and still get back the ball. Wildness. <laughs> of course, he's a wild man. Now, if he take my spot and I'm Halle, yeah, I would do exactly what Halle did. And on the quickest flight, get out of there to Ajax and relax myself. So, um, I don't know if Benteke is too old too. Is that too far? Mm, when did Benteke I, move I to, when did Benteke move to Palace? Palace, I don't know. I don't know. Because he was next on my list because, boy, we make the rules. Go ahead. <laughs> because Benteke, from Villa was really good. So, me and, I don't know if you see me and Tom, man, joke about this in the, in the, in the WhatsApp before. Yeah. Dog, there was a time when it was legitimately very funny for somebody to say Lukaku is better than Benteke. Mm. We laugh. We like, what? Is, I bet that man think, think, I think, blah, 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 blah. Tom, I end up losing the bet because Lukaku outscored. <laughs> but then every se- like for two seasons after, I like, dog, can you believe Lukaku really better than this man now today? <laughs> Ben, ben Teke was actually very, very he good. Very, very good. He was very good. Like, very good. Threat in the air. And, anyway. Next. Uh, so, I'll go to... Um, I'll do a 10. All right? If that works. Yeah. Well, I think it's 10. All right, we'll see. After Ben Teke, I had Mangala. <laughs> Mangala. Is that... Is that <laughs> Mangala is a good pick. Because he was <laughs> real damage. <laughs> In that sense, he had real crap. All right, next I do Jolinton. Of course, I do. I do Jolinton because yeah, he is the next one that really should. I don't know. Uh, then next I did uh, Bakayoko, who really disappointed me because I liked him. So I was very excited about that Monaco team. So I started actually yep. being a stand on the low. I started watching French league. Actually, I think that was the same oh, time. Oh, can I get some of my chest? Can I get some of my chest? Yeah, let it out, man. Let it out. Can you believe Arsene Wenger What nobody from that team? Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, that team, I think that's the same time Balotelli was in Nice. I think so. Okay. 
So I started watching French League to watch two teams. I used to watch Monaco and then I watched Nice. And I watched Monaco and Baka Yoko. Yeah, he was a boss. No. Oh, box to box, is, number eight. He was, the first, he was the first iteration of what um, Tangi is doing now. <laughs> he well, he, he and Fabinho, legitimate yeah, yeah. pairing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so when you come to see... When he comes to Chelsea and I watching them struggle to hit uh, a, a five yard <laughs> pass and thing. He go on Milan, still struggling, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then after that is where I put your boy Pepe. After him, I put Ozil. After him, I put, yeah, I put Ozil because, right, the reality is Ozil was signed as, yo, this guy is going to transform Arsenal. Yeah. And yeah, that didn't happen. After that, I put Batman. Ah, Batman. For real. Batman was supposed to be like an ex-drug boss or something. For real. After that, I put Philippe Anderson. Yeah. And I think I think that's like 10. Yeah. So um basically all this uh is very similar. My number Maybe. one, Alexis Sanchez. That was your number one too? Number one, Alexis. Because <laughs> I'll tell you why. I believe. When I should have just cast Ozil aside and keep Sanchez, give Sanchez double Ozil money. The yeah, way Sanchez yeah. used to play for us, so Ozil used to be sometimes with Sanchez. He used to he tie her then strap up, go and yeah. score two goals. Yeah. Listen, yeah. the man was a beast for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I loved. You know, longer than have a, a favorite player yep. playing for us. I love that yep. guy. You have Alexis Jersey or no? I stopped buying jerseys because I've, I've thought I used to heavy them. I used to well, be I like, uh, wait, why don't you have an Ozil jersey? Nah, you man. <laughs> Give yourself, <laughs> boy. I actually wanted, I actually wanted Di Maria instead of Ozil. Anyway, um, Ooh, if you say Di Maria, this list I slap you. No, 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 he's not there. Okay. I actually okay. wanted Di Maria instead of Ozil. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. My number two, Nicholas Pepe asterisk because because the season over us. Oh, I literally went and watched mm-hmm. Pepe play dog. I was like, who is this guy? Yeah. He looks yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This guy yes. could is guy gonna beat your hell man? Yes, yes. yes like yes, who yes, is yes. this dude? Yes, yes. yes. Didn't work out. Boy. And boy. But dog, you find us kinda of soon. Like Like I say, I Asterisk. Mm-hmm. He, he just, right, just right, fed right, me right, so right, right. horse. I think footballers should enjoy their job. Bro. You get to play football for a living. Though. Why would you not try to beat up? Why would you not try to to be as creative as you could be, though? <laughs> like, why? Why would you not drop try- you? That's why. I don't. Ki- he's gonna drop me anyway. You gonna and get it- dropped and then you never get to start again. Andre, if I'm productive, he can't tell me anything. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, my number three, Bakayoko. Really, all right. Yeah, I tell you, it's very similar. I was like, yeah, I did my research. Okay. I was like, also, Bakayoko and Fabinho were legit with yeah. Bernardo Silva. Like, horse, that midfield was shit. Like, and then see Bakayoko can't make the side. I was like, damn. Who, who used to play instead of Bakayoko for, um, for Conte? It was Con- um, he was in our Fabregas plus Conte. I can't remember that, boy. I just remember back, back you could get dropped. Yeah, Fabri, Fabri got, he was in Conte time or Sari time? Nah, he was in Conte time, I think. Okay. We'll I with. think. Anyway, let's move this along. Number f- one, two, three, four. Danny drink water. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget him. I was like, horse, drink water, dog. This guy, he, be, he ever played for Chelsea? I don't even know him. <laughs> I think he got swept. I think he got swept. I was like, of course. That's a fall from Greece. But I always oh, When you go into Chelsea, dog, you're brave. Why, right, Yeah, bumped up men fall off when going to Chelsea, dog. Come on, dog. Let's be real. Right? And there are, so, there are so much players. There are so much players at, at the ready <laughs> that they could call back and from loan if you exactly. if they find you flop, yeah. Yeah. Chelsea's a... Yeah, you have to be on your... Because they're... Remember, it's not only their manager under pressure. You see that 
you see the boss? You see the owner? That guy dread. <laughs> anyway, number five, Sebastian Haller. We said enough about him. Tough guy. Hopefully, he rebounds. To me, he's like mirror image of Luka Jovic um, to Real Madrid. That same Frankfurt team. It was only probably Ante Rebic is playing good right now. I don't even know if he's making the Milan side, but that that those three flops maybe from Frankfurt make all the money. Made all that money. Say, I think it's fair to say they are flops. They didn't they didn't do it. <laughs> yep. Number six, Joel Anton. Uh, mm. Look at the strength. Look at the strength, boy. Terrible. Man, is he, he a Brazilian? Strong, eh? is, he is he a Brazilian? A is he a Brazilian? Huh? He's he supposed to be Adriano 2.0. <laughs> uh, I should call um, Fabinho a Venezuelan, but he came good too. So Joel yeah, is definitely so. from Venezuela. Though. Anyway. The no offense to Venezuela. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> my number seven, Moise Keen. I know that's been harsh. Yes. Yes, Andre. Yes. He flopped. You're real wicked, buddy. You find that was harsh? It was kind of hey. harsh, yeah? It was hey. kind of harsh. It's not, it's not his fault Everton buy him after he played half a season good. It, it was kind of harsh, but not really. He's, how old is he? Like 19 still or something? Like, he might not even 20. Hard, hard luck, dog. My number... <laughs> what? Seven, William. Number, number eight. Eight, William is my number eight. Like, dog. <laughs> Dog, 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 dog. Do you know it's not officially, it's not even officially. Okay, I think tonight is officially halfway through the season. So halfway through the season, <laughs> he's already number eight on the all time list. Horse, horse, listen, listen, bro, it's terrible. The man sort of good in FPL, man. First game, he make real points. Yep, real points. <laughs> Since then, no chances created, no shots. Anyway, um, what do you think that's about, bro? Um, I, I, I think he's either retiring his mind already, like, and Arsenal again, well, two points, Edu and his manager, Jurapchian, I think that's his um, agent, they're really close, and if you realize, a lot of players might come in that, that's, that are his clients, um, so yeah, and Edu is Brazilian, he brought in David Luiz. He brought in William. It looks like a trend forming. He, he brought in Martinelli, though. Martinelli is good. Um, and, but, and Gabriel, too, right? Yeah, Gabriel as well. But Gabriel, I think, is good. He didn't get a start yeah. these days, though. But I think he getting Holden. banished because he. I think he. No, I think he didn't. He and Holden was starting. I think he getting banished because I think they broke COVID violation. Yeah, COVID. He had, yeah, I think he getting a little banished now. <laughs> Um, my number nine, and this is a jokey joke, not really joke, right? Asterisk. John Stones flop. Before this last ten games, John Stones a flop, and I had to take that in consideration. Fifty million for a centre back. He didn't start for the last two seasons. Is it his fault? Like, is it his fault? So, back to my criteria. You think about yeah. John Stones before he was bought. Yeah. He was a youth man. Just a regular youth man. He could hit a he and, he and Jack. He and Jack Rodwell. You remember that? Exactly, Jack Rodwell? Exactly. <laughs> just, two, just two English youth men playing for the Everton and whatever. Mm-hmm. It's yep. not their fault. It's not their fault that City need to hold the English quota. So, they went looking for who's our best thing. Anyway, all right. That. And the last last one is Benjamin Mendy, Mr. Glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah, what can I say? That um ah, but he that was he was team. Down my list. What do you think that Monaco team was worth it when they were sold, boy? <laughs> I'm probably make a uh a, a, a two hundred mil, five hundred mil. So they probably make a half a mil, uh, a half a bill. Half, half a bill I mean yeah, no, half half a bill. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, what half a bill, yeah, five hundred mil, yeah. So who yeah. was the last one you say? Mendy. Mendy. Intro.